Well, Pete, I'm not going to say tomorrow morning when I step outside and take my kids to school, I'm just going to say it's a bit chilly outside. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm going to say yeah. it's bitter cold. Yeah, it's just there. disappointing, I mean, that you're embarrassing your family like this by saying 38's like bitterly cold or bone chilling cold. Yeah, it, Being from it, Detroit, Michigan it, and all. Let me tell you, in Michigan, when it's 38 in January, they come outside in shorts and t-shirts <laughs> I know, I know. and run around. But you're complaining about the bitter cold in Dallas, Fort Worth. Pete, I'm officially Texan now. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let me show you this. Here's what's happening. Happening today, we hit 56, the morning low, 42. 56 and 36 are the normals. The records have been as warm as 84, as cold as four above, and that's cold. That's bone chilling cold back in 1911. 52 outside right now with calm winds. Pollen today, it's uh, rag, uh, it's not ragweed season. Thankful for that. I'm allergic to ragweed and mountain cedars, just mountain cedar season. Today, that's moderate, and uh, fungus today is low. Clouds, they will be on the increase tomorrow. Fast forward to 7 a.m. tomorrow, clouds will slowly roll in as the day progresses. There's noon. <clears throat> Watch this. There's 7 p.m. So the clouds start to roll in. The rain coverage increases. So I have 30% coverage of rain in my forecast during the day tomorrow. It's mainly to the west of Fort Worth. But then tomorrow night, I have 80% coverage of rain in my forecast due to this. There it is. Widespread at 10 o'clock. More widespread at midnight. One, two. There's three o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> 7 o'clock in the morning, we uh, most of the rain's over except east of Dallas. And then uh, by noon, we start to see, and we'll see some sun as we head through uh, the morning hours on Friday. Uh, but it won't be a totally sunny morning. But then the sun should uh, continue to increase and the clouds decrease as we head through Friday afternoon. We'll be left with the rain, which the majority of it will fall tomorrow night, a quarter to a half an inch, some lower amounts west of Fort Worth and some higher amounts over here in East Texas. And then that's the system that'll move through tomorrow. Watch this. Or that's the system that moved through yesterday. That's our system right now that'll move through tomorrow night and early, early Friday morning. And then we have another one. That's our Monday system. So watch the timing on this. After the rain tomorrow, I have no rain in my forecast until Sunday night. 7 a.m. on Thursday. There we go. Here comes our system. There's our rainmaker. I just gave you the timing on that. Saturday and Sunday are dry. There's Sunday at 7 p.m. So we're dry. After that little bit of early morning rain on Friday, we're dry Friday afternoon, Friday night, Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. Sunday. Here it comes a snowmaker out in the southern Rockies, widespread rain on Monday, still raining at noon on Monday. Then that system moves out and it leaves with it a severe weather threat as it's passing by down in the Houston area, maybe east of Austin, over toward uh, toward New Orleans uh, in North Texas. We don't have right now. We don't have any severe weather threat here. It's all down well to the southeast, east of us, Palestine, Nacogdoches, and then around down around center. But how much more rain will we see? Remember the two more rounds? Remember the first, uh, the first one we had yesterday. The second one comes in tomorrow night. The combination of the three total will bring with it another half an inch to an inch across the area. So that's good news. So that'll be the rain for Thursday night and the rain on Monday, an additional half an inch to an inch. 38, that's the low temp tonight. Tomorrow we hit 56. 30% of us see rain late in the day tomorrow. 80% of us tomorrow night. 30% of us early on Friday morning. Dry Saturday, Sunday, another round of rain on Monday. Severe weather threat southeast Texas and the Gulf Coast. And then we're dry Tuesday and Wednesday with another chance of rain the end of that week. Friday and Saturday. <clears throat> and then uh, MLK Day is on Monday. Sunshine and 47 with a morning low of 28 degrees. So several more rounds of rain. That's good news, Jonah, as you always tell me, for the fire danger this time of year. And uh, just to, to kind of keep things green as we head into the spring, it always helps this time of year, doesn't it?